Hello guys, this is Geese Plus 16. Welcome back to Let's Play Mario Tennis. Um, tournament is now done, but we still have some modes we want to go over, and I'm going to play as Waluigi for this. Okay, so now we have ring shot. Aim for the rings and get all the flags. So yeah, there's, so there's four different types of ways to get rings here. Um, we have game, we have clear the set number of rings before the game ends. It's clear time, clear the set number of rings before time runs out. Balls, continue our rally to clear a set number of rings, and points, to clear rings for points within the time limit. Okay, so we're going to go in order here, we're going to start off with game. So basically we play a game of tennis, and we must get a certain number of rings before we actually, uh, to win this, so. So yeah, we have like, there are five flags, and we need to clear like a number of rings, like right there there's 30, to start things out. Okay, so right here, we you notice there's some rings right here. In order to get the rings here in game, you need to score. So basically this is like a normal game of tennis. Only one game, and you need to win and get the, the set number of rings. See like that right there, I, did, I missed. So if you miss, you won't get the rings that were right there. Which we need to get to 30. And w ring is worth one point as usual. Oh my god, really now? Now this first part is easy, but it'll get more and more difficult as the uh, as the number of rings you need to get will will increase. Now I recommend using a technique character, or you can also use Mario as well. But there's really no clear ca uh, character to use, in my opinion. I was using Waluigi because I played as Waluigi ever since I played the game. But I was Donkey Kong Jr. as well, so okay. Okay, need to score pretty soon. 24 rings. Got my mark. So yeah, if you get to the if you get to uh, the uh, number of rings before uh, you reach the game, in the game you'll actually clear the uh, flag. So next up we got Yoshi here, and this time we need 50 rings. That's what this is right here. Yeah, I recommend trying to get a, get trying to get some rings before you. Uh, I'm going to try and get, get some extra rings before you actually try to score. I'd say at least above 10 per, uh, per, uh, hit. And that kind of screwed me up a little bit. So there you go, that's a ring shot in game. pretty fun mode. It's actually the multiplier version of this. Um, get you and your buddy, and you actually fight over for some rings. So it's like whoever gets the most rings will be the winner. Now you can team up, or uh, you can either team up, or uh, or you just go at every man for himself. There we go. 36 at the start. Just need 11 more rings. So yeah, game is not that bad though, just make sure you don't miss. And when you think you need to score, go ahead and score. 16. There we go. Oh yeah, if you actually get the game point before you actually uh, get the number of rings you need to get, uh, it'll be game over. Pretty much. Okay, we have Peach, and we need 70 rings. Oh, thank God this Peach returned that. Five rings. Ooh, wow. And it'll get harder and harder each time, so. Okay, 70 is the go here. I'm up to 30. 30 love right now. I have to be very, very careful here. Ooh! Okay. I'll try to get the... I'll try to get the 30 here. Yeah, hey, watch out for falls. Don't we get those. Uh -oh. 
Okay, 21. Okay, I need about 30 something rings. So, you need to be careful here that I don't score by accident. Because if I score, it's going to be over and I have to restart. So try to aim your ball to where there's most ring, where the rings are gather up. So okay, I need to get above. Let's see, thirty-three. Okay, thirty. Oh, oh shoot! I hit the restart button. I meant to hit back. Sorry about that, guys. Well, that was a waste. My, my fault right there. Okay, 11 rings. If you need about 20 rings here, um, hang on, something popped up on my computer. If you need about 20 or 30 rings, that's when I should, that's when I recommend get scored. Well, for game. But for other modes, you have to keep, recommend not scoring. And oh my god, really? That would be perfect right there. 20 rings, that would put me up 31. Okay, tied at 30 right now. Ah. Uh, 24, I need a little over 40, I say 46 at least, so. I wanna see what I can do here. Okay, halfway there to my go. Okay, good. Ah, dang it! I figured she's gonna pull that. Okay, so. I <laughs> only got three rings right there. Got the advantage. And unfortunately, I didn't get my goal of 70. Yeah. If you get the game point before you reach your uh, target time, or your target number of rings, it's going to be game over. I'll try it one more time here. Not now, to a good start. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. Ah, oh, you gotta be careful out right there. And not getting many rings that I hope and I would need to hope and get. I'm gonna try to stay back away from the net. Or maybe not. And this ring shot can actually be kind of difficult here. It'll take some practice, I will tell you that. So, so practice makes perfect, guys. Alright. Oh no, you don't. They're gonna fool me that time. Fool me that easily. Let me get all these rings here. Okay, I'll go ahead and score right there. Okay, I need 23 rings, or 25 at least. And I need to score. They need up to 25 before I actually set the score here. Okay, 
It's all about getting the most rings before you score in. Because if you can do that, then you should be fine. Okay. Come on! Yes! There we go! And I got it! <laughs> Back to 98 rings! Alright, so there we go! Okay, 90 rings now is the go, and we have Donkey Kong. We've got a power character. Yes, it will get harder and harder. So... So yeah. And yeah, the rings will actually be uh, laying upside down this time around, starting right here. Yeah, keep that in mind. But Donkey Kong, I'm gonna try to stay up close to the net here. Well, well, for the first part here, I actually. Uh, I actually stay back here, but once I get closer to a comfort zone, I'll go to the net. You know, I'm not doing it right now. Ah, oh, dang it! Okay, we still got some time, though. Well. Dang it. But to be careful here, DK scores right here, it's over. Yeah, it's done. Alright, let's try it again. Eh. I think the next one's gonna be like a hundred or something. I'm not guessing. Okay, 11. I don't need to score too much though. Because we got 90 rings. And 23. I have I got 23 I need 64 it's gonna be a tall task can actually get some rings here okay 64 is the go well we can always retry right here Let's try not to use all your big power shots, though. Because, um, you don't want to end the game. Well, for game. <laughs> okay, DK is the advantage. Okay. Well, we can just go back and forth right here. Okay, 15. Need 50. Need about 47, I think. Well, I didn't get it right there. Well, that was a fail. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut footage right here, and I'll be, and I'll cut you to my successful attempt. So I'll be right back. Oh man! Holy crap! That was pretty, pretty difficult. I mean, this one's going to be difficult too, but... That took almost an hour to beat. 
I don't know. I can't explain. It's just I kept on getting so unlucky. And there's one point I scored like 50 rings at once, and DK scores on me, and I lost all those rings. So you still gotta score in order to get the rings. So I had some unlucky breaks. I had some cases where I actually uh, got the game point by getting the number of rings I need to get. So. So yeah, it's just basically just try to stay, um, don't use all your power shots right away, just try to get to a point where you uh, just go hit back and forth, which I'll explain here. Okay, we need 100 rings for this one, going against Luigi. Oh yeah, this one, the rings will be actually be high up. So, so that's, just try to stay back for a little while. And Luigi, my god, man. Pretty difficult to get tired. And, I mean, yeah, you can score and win it. Single solitary ring. Yeah, you have to get the ball high enough to get the rings that are, like, high in the air. Yeah, let's try to stay back here. For a little while. And unfortunately, Luigi scored. I consider the game to be the most difficult uh, ring shot because you've got to not only get the rings, but you got to score as well. That's what you got to do. But my god, and yeah, you got to get enough to do that. Oh, I figured out how to do surveys now. Took me a while to figure that out. Well, with normal technique characters. Oh my god, get out with the net, please. And I wasn't ready right there, that was my fault. Oh, I thought I scored there for a minute. I didn't now. Uh, that's not good because I need to get to a hundred. Let's try to go back and forth right here. If you get to back the uh, deuce part, um, if you if you need to let your opponent score, go right ahead. I mean, you won't get the ring stuff, but just it gives you a little bit more time to get rank up some rings before you actually move on. And I hit start over by accident. That was my bad there. That's alright, this gives me a good opportunity to try to get a good head start. So yeah, just try not to try best not to score. If you feel like you need to score, if you get up like to say 40 or 50 rings, go ahead and score if you can. Thankfully in later flag challenges or other ring shot challenges, you don't have to worry about scoring. You just gotta make sure you're getting the rings before uh, you limit. And I'll explain that later. But I just wanna get past this because this took almost a Freaking hour to do. To do with Donkey Kong. Ah. ah, I'm still good for right now. Ah, what the freak was that? Hey, when those rings are so high up, I mean, you have to get. The ball pretty high to get the rings that are that high in the air. Ow, man, that's a definite broken nose right there. Oh man. That was a fail. I'll try one more time. If I don't get it this time around, I'm going to go off camera. I'll try doing it. Alright, uh, five rings. Uh, surveys. I have to be careful right here so I don't, so I don't get into trouble here. I don't need to do. I need to start building up some rings, so I'm at 18. 
quiet game point here. So try to be careful. When you get to this point right here, make sure you don't accidentally score if you're low on rings. Hey, I just let that go. I need 82 rings. So I need. Well, we just got a good score right there. Okay, we're at this, so we're good. We're able to get some rings built up if we can. Although, with those rings up high, though. It's gonna be difficult. Ah, damn it. Man, this is gonna be a while. Alright, guys, I'll be right back. Well, guys, I give. I've been at this for about. For a few hours now, well, I had to stop in between, went and run some errands with uh, my mother, and then um, and uh, visited for a while, and uh, came back to this a few hours later, and still no result. That's pretty difficult because at the end here, you have like the rings that are like above, uh, above the net. You gotta get a good high shot to reach them, but in the process, there's a good chance that your opponent can hit a good power shot away from you, and you end up losing your rings. So. Pretty difficult because one, you're on a limit because um, if you get the game point before you hit the amount of rings you need to get, you have to start over. I came close a few times, but not no cigars. So I really don't have any advice, but I want to stop this for now and uh, just move on. At a later date and time, I don't know when I'll come back and redo this one. So, but anyways, guys, enough rambling. I'll see you guys tomorrow for when we do the time portion of Ring Shot. Till then, guys, this is Geese Cross 16 signing out. Later.